I'm here at the home of Kobe Listenby, Arlington Bowie's dual threat quarterback. Uh, Kobe, the world has been waiting to find out what college you chose. Uh, which college did you choose, Kobe? Uh, I chose Texas Christian University. I'm from the TCU. That is awesome. Well, Kobe, uh, what position are you being recruited for, and uh, is that the position that you expect to play? Uh, I'm getting I'm get recruited as an athlete. Uh, they want me to play receiver. But Coach Patterson, he personally thinks I can play quarterback, so I'm going to have a chance to play quarterback. So, yeah, just. Will your commitment to TCU affect your role that you play at Bowie High School currently? Uh, no, sir. I believe that uh, it just pushed me to go out there and work hard still because uh, I still have a lot of people to, to prove myself to. So I'm going to go out there and play 100% whatever I do. Well, Kobe, who or what was your determining factor in your decision uh, to uh, – to go to TCU, was it your parents? Was it players? Uh, well, my, my friends, like, they were just been, they were just supporting me, like, through it all. They, like, some ways I go with Texas a and but I can't stay. So, like, they just stay, they stick with me. And my family, like, they sat me down and, like, went through all the college choices and just talked to me about it and brought the pros and cons out of school. And we found that TCU had the best fit for me, so that's why I chose it. Well, what impressed Texas Prep Star so much was your overall athleticism and knowledge of the game. Uh, what do you feel impressed TCU uh, the most? Uh, they say that I'm fast. I'm more basically versatile. I can do I can do many things. I can do receiver, quarterback, I can run, throw, do multiple things. Uh, they have my personality and they I'm smart. I can come up there and play. Probably my first year. That is awesome. Since you're such a well-rounded athlete, would you ever consider playing another position? And if so, what position would that be? Uh, well, if I'm not playing quarterback, then I say receiver because either way it is, I can make a play with the ball. As long as I have the ball in my hand, I can make plays. It would be hard to be hard to play defensive base. That's why I chose TCU instead of other schools that offer me as defensive base. But. So right now, Kobe, what are you doing to get bigger, faster, and stronger? Uh, we have off season, so I'm just best person. I'm just uh, looking away from my dad and my school, and then I'm just doing speed and agility stuff, getting faster, and just keep on working hard, doing push ups and stuff. Unbelievable! You have uh, are you running track right now, Kobe? Oh yes, sir. How's that going? Uh, I got original next Saturday. I was number six in two hundred, uh, going to finals uh, district, and then I ended up running the faster time. So I'll probably like probably move down, but I'm doing good. Uh, I'm running four by one, four by two, and two hundred. Have the coaches at TCU indicated that you may play next season? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Cause Barnes, we've been talking. We broke down the death chart, and like some people are leaving, so they're probably, they're probably gonna have like at least four or five receivers. But they say that I'm gonna have a chance to come compete. Cause I have the brains, and I'm coming in. Uh, Coming in in January, so I won't be that far behind. People that go ahead of me, mess ahead of me. Well, I know it was a tough decision. How close were you to choosing another school, and then what schools obviously were in the top three? Uh, this other school other than uh, TCU, that was my top three. Uh, it was Texas State, Kansas State, and Texas A&M. Uh, the first time I went to Texas A&M. I went and I saw a coach McMillan now, and it, like it felt like it was a warm feeling over there. They had great hospitality and stuff. But then they uh, they offered me as a cornerback, and they said I could try a quarterback receiver. But I went to their practice and like uh, I saw a depth chart, so I kind of questioned it. And then Kansas State, they said quarterback, straight quarterback, they put an offense around me. That sounded good, but then if they didn't go as planned, then I would just be away from home and it wouldn't be that good. And then they just take this. They got five quarterbacks in the offense, so basically I was just playing receiver. So I bet I was just playing receiver at TCU and have a chance to play quarterback too at TCU. That is awesome. You got a lot of you got a lot of talent that TCU has recruited in this last in this past uh, 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 recruiting season. You have uh, you got uh, Trayvon Boykin. You got uh, you got Porter out of DeSoto. Uh, you think about you know obviously TCU being, TCU being uh, ranked as the number two uh, team in the country. I mean, did your did that weigh heavily on the decision? You want to go obviously and get a ring, and get on the field with some of the great players that are being recruited out of this area. I mean, 
it was kind of cool to get to go back to school with my old teammate Cameron White. Well, I didn't get to play with him, but uh, and then uh, I mean, I tell you like today, like probably the first day I actually really realized that they were number two in the nation. Like, I mean, I just thought about the school on how uh, how they affected me, like my grades wise and how I was like it and everything. I, today was like the first day I just really realized that they were number two. So what do you plan to study at TCU? Uh, Pre-med, I'm probably going to be an orthopedic surgeon, a uh, physician assistant. So I'm going as pre-med, and hopefully that'll go well. Well, I also want to really ask this question for the younger kids that are coming up, obviously looking for an opportunity to make it to the next level. How tough was the recruiting process for you? It was very stressful. Like, for the longest, like, I was I was just trying to just hurry and choose a school to, like, I, if anything, I would chose A and M because whatever. At first, I was going to choose A and M first, and then at the wait, and then all these other colleges came in, so it got real stressful. And then, but once you get it over with, then it's it's a fun uh, experience, and it's just a blessing. Obviously, obviously, so your 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 family's excited. Who would you say you know that uh, you're making that decision to go to TCU? Who would you say that you? Uh, that that really showed this. I mean, just tremendous excitement for you. That that really warmed your heart. Uh, you mean as my, as my parents or something? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, my brother and my mama and my dad. My dad, like he has a heart, like and he's like a heart of a champion. Like he helped me out with all this, and uh, he just wanted me to go out there and, and like choose a school that I fit in. I mean, like that a school I can live at. And my mom and dad, they uh. My brother too. They talking about they have a good fan base over here and stuff. And then my coach, my quarterback coach, he was helping me out too, trying to keep me, trying to keep me all right because I was very stressed and stuff coming into off season and stuff. So, so if you had anything to say to uh, to uh, TCU fans around the nation, what would you say to them? Uh, uh, I'm gonna come in and bring some excitement to the team and hopefully get a national championship. So obviously, Kobe, you 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 committed to, orally committed to TCU. Uh, there's something else uh, that I'd like for you to share with the younger athletes out there trying to get an opportunity to go play at the next level. Uh, was this road an easy road to get to this point? Uh, no, cause eighth grade, I was like, I was real small, and like people would doubt me. Uh, I couldn't even play quarterback in uh, eighth grade. They had me playing safety, and it was just doubting me by my size. Freshman year, I didn't want to play because I thought I wasn't going to do anything. I thought I wasn't going to go to college for football. I thought I was going to go for uh, academics or for basketball or something. But uh, God just started blessing me. Well, he's been blessing me all my life, but he started showing he started showing what he can do. Uh, my sophomore year, I, got, I grew like at least about six inches or so. And uh, I started getting faster and started opening people's eyes and stuff. And then I went to camps last spring and started showing out. And that's how I got a lot of publicity. And then I kept on working hard and just kept on trying to be humble. And uh, God blessed me with a starting spot. And after that, things just opened up. And just got blessed this spring. So the so the so the road is this uh, was it it's camps it's 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 on the field it's uh, so give me give me give me the step by step of what Kobe Listenby had to do obviously from uh, your your from the time that you started doing your camps and your combines uh, tell me how that process worked for you uh, I had to trust in God uh, just keep on working hard I have my dad to help me out a lot because he's like helping me with my high tape and everything. Uh, hit me with my quarterback stuff. He hired me a quarterback coach, Coach Kevin Murray. Uh, and then I just had to keep my grades up, try to keep my grades up, and, and just keep on going 100%. Don't worry about anybody else. Just do whatever you do, just put 100% in it. What camps would you say, Kobe, that helped you get your your exposure started early for the younger athletes? Uh, I say Five Star was the first camp that got me. Uh, I started on my Robert page. Uh, and then Nike camp, Nike combine. I had a good rating on it, like a 99 last year. And then uh, underclassmen, I got the fastest man award and king of the combine, so that helped me with more publicity. And then I went to Texas right now. I did good there. I was playing quarterback and stuff, but Coach McMillan saw me in spring. He already knew my dad, so he started looking at me as uh, 
he saw my speed and he offered me as a cornerback coming in this spring. So. So it's important to get out and market yourself and obviously attend the, the performance camps and the, uh, the combines so that, so that colleges and obviously the recruiting world can see uh, just how talented a kid can be, obviously, from a measurement standpoint. Yes, sir. I think it is. Uh, but whenever you go out there, you just got to go out there with that, that beast attitude. You can't just go out there for friendship and stuff. You got to go out there and just try to go tear everybody's head off. You just got to go out there and compete and do the best you can so you can get uh, looked at.